Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own indoor FPV drone. It's going to be an indoor FPV drone for anyone with no prior knowledge of RC and anyone who has not flown an RC aircraft before like a quadcopter. It will be an indoor FPV drone for dummies. Basically, there are a lot of FPV drone for indoors, such as this um, one over here. They all come in different shapes and sizes but they all look about the same with duct fans around like this and there are models like Mini Whoop which are really popular but none of these indoor FPV drones actually allow a complete noob to fly it indoor the reason is because they are all having just the stabilization means it can auto level and yes they do hold the height depending on the model but if you pass it to a beginner, the beginner is going to crash it because the drone will just drift to the side and hit into furniture and stuff like, like so. And basically it's no good for a beginner. So here I'm going to show you how to choose a quadcopter that's suitable for indoor FPV for a complete noob. Here I have the FY919. This is a quadcopter which is not too big so it's good for indoor. And the most important thing is it has the ability to not only hold its height, it also has the ability to hold its position. The moment you let go of the controls, just let go of all the sticks, it's going to just swing back to a stationary position and hold its position. And it does that by using optical positioning. As you can see here, optical positioning. At the side, you should be able to see the optical flow positioning and air pressure for holding the height. Unfortunately, these kind of drones are really cheap and they are not meant for 5.8GHz video without latency. So here I have a 5.8GHz video goggles and usually we need a 5.8GHz transmitter to transmit zero latency video to it. And the drone has a camera and a transmitter which is Wi-Fi transmitter it cannot transmit zero latency video. In, in fact, the Wi-Fi video that's transmitted to a phone will have about 400 milliseconds of lag and that's no good. So here I've installed the camera and a VTX. This is a 5.8 GHz video transmitter. I'll post a link down below together with the camera. Just hook it up to this port here which is originally meant for the Wi-Fi camera unit. And that's all you need to do. The other problem with having this drone is that the controller doesn't have enough range. As you know, this is a toy drone, less than 40 USD, really cheap. So the control range is like really line of sight up to 30 meters. And if you're going to fly from one room to another room in your house, you're going to have problems reaching the furthest corner of your house. So here I've installed a 2 watts booster. This is the Wi-Fi booster but it works for this controller. I'll post a few pictures to show you how I uh, wired it up. It's not really difficult, you just need some basic soldering skills. Alright, I have the DVR here with the SD card inside for, ready for recording. And this is the modified transmitter with the 2 watts booster. It's actually powered on by this 3 cell lipo pack. There's a blue light here, it's quite faint, but you should be able to see it. Yep, there you go. And this is the FY919. Let's power it on. Alright, let me put on the FPV and let's get flying. <laughs> 